Lamar students, student council members, and teachers got together to talk about the ever-pressing issue of prejudice and how it affects us as students. Important topics were brought up about racial and gender prejudice, as well as the idea of tolerance and spreading peace throughout campuses. So, the way I've always looked at it is, is everyone is different. They're, we're all not one cookie cutter, and because of that, we all have unique perspectives, and we're all genetically unique, so we all have something to offer. So, uh, the way I look at it is, is we all have value. I moved to Houston, and I actually moved into one of the suburbs south of Houston. It's incredibly diverse, and I thrive in that environment. I like hearing different perspectives and seeing different people. I don't want to be surrounded with people that are exactly like me because I won't grow and I won't learn anything then. Roadblocks we have is prejudice, not necessarily racism, or um, stereotypes leads our judgment. All right, this culture is great here because you have, just sitting in this room, everyone's of a different background, different culture. You can look to your left and right, you don't know what the person is next to you, and that's great. Now, when you can go home and choose, you usually tend to choose who's typically like you, who's the same, right? What influences you to reject racism? Such a difference in every single person in this room that you can't lump anyone into just one box. Because if you lump everyone into one box, you're stereotyping. And we're all different. <coughs> And those differences make us unique, they make us stronger. And if we tear each other down by doing us versus them, whichever group is us and whichever is them, then we're losing sight of like all the great things we could do because we're spending so much time hurting each other. Um, but as, as we have this discussion, you'll see what we try to, try to have that line of what, what's prejudice and what's, what actually is racism. Um, but as you guys know, well, we all face some sort of prejudice, stereotype, and racism as we go through our lives. And, and as you guys grow up, I think that's what, what we're having is to see how can we unblur those lines. Like yeah. every, everybody in the population has people who are at the very bottom mm -hmm. who a lot of people don't want to associate with to the very top who everybody wants to be in that position. We're going to make sure there's peace, safety, and from there, everything else falls in line. Now, if you disrupt those two things, you're going to be removed. That's where ignorance is born, and just, you continue to grow ignorance, and and that's why this panel is important because you guys are going to be agents to to <coughs> to kind of kill out the ignorance that does exist in your generation. Sometimes being a positive force, right. your actions speak much louder than your words. So you keep being awesome, and don't and you know that you heard it, haters gonna hate, right? right. And hey, don't hate. don't don't let that. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Haters yeah. gonna hate, yeah. and so. Don't let that tear you down because you're so much better by being open-minded. Um, Mahatma Gandhi, be the change you want to see. So you keep being awesome, and if it's someone outside in a circle that you can influence, stay away from that as much as possible, <coughs> but keep promoting the positive yourself. Okay.